So the topic was on the Hippie Dippy podcast, should we platform Lauren Southern? And what I have to say to these sorts of questions is, fuck you. That's what I say to that. Now, I understand the people hosting the panels that ask questions like that might not say, of course, we shouldn't platform her. They're going to they're going to be like, we're not answering the question. We're just allowing the panel to discuss it. But it's so stupid and it's so censorious. This is why people on the right should say, you know what? If you have to question whether or not you should platform me, then no. How about that? Don't platform me. Have your little show where you left to sit around and you, you know, release each other's private emails and discords to have your little petty conversations about, oh, is my current girlfriend, uh, you know, is she being sexually harassed by her old producer? Sit around and have those little conversations. Have trans people yell at non-trans left-wing streamers how they're transphobic because the right person didn't win the debate. That could be your platform, right? Then you can make sure you're only platforming the right people. If you're on the right and you're listening to this shit, don't support these people. Should we even platform them? Ridiculous. Should we platform them? Some of the heinous shit they've said? It's just stupid. Well, you know, we're going to have a serious conversation about should we even allow right wingers on it? And I like, I get called a Nazi. How am I a Nazi? Again, I did a debate where Dylan got crushed on <laughs> talking to Big Papa Fascist on LGBTQ rights and things like that. And so I went on immediately after him and argued for gay marriage, much to the chagrin of much of my right wing audience. That's okay. You don't have to agree with me on everything. But the point is, I argued for those particular LGBT rights far more successfully than Dylan did. And then you know what happened? I had a bunch of left-wing streamers and people reach out to me and go, Wow, Rob, we always thought you were a really bad person, that you were like a Nazi, but you did great arguing for gay marriage. Fuck you. You... What's my reaction? Oh, that's cool. Cool. Now some people that thought I was a Nazi yesterday think I'm a cool dude. What? Hey, last week we had a panel questioning whether or not you should be platformed because you're a racist and a Nazi. But thanks for defending gay marriage. Maybe, just maybe, to all those people saying, well, maybe Rob's not. I used to think he was a racist Nazi, but well, good job defending gay marriage, Rob. Maybe this will blow your mind. Maybe I never was a Nazi and a racist. Maybe you made that shit up in your head because so many on the left have to resort to calling people Nazis or racist when you can't deal with their ideas and their arguments. Maybe that's what's going on. So even though I support gay marriage, I have more respect by far with people that disagree with me but don't call me a Nazi or something like that, then pieces of shit that are like, I agree with you in gay marriage, Rob, and I thought you were a Nazi until I heard that. And to the, should we platform Lauren Southern crowd? Then don't. I don't give advice to people. Do what you want. But Lauren Southern shouldn't go on their panel then. If you're questioning whether or not you want me, if my mere existence on your show is up for debate, then fine, do it without me. And here's the truth. Those panels need right-wingers more than they need left-wingers. They do. Because they know. Prime K's or Dylan Burns or any of those other panel shows. They could get, they got leftists lined up. They know it. Why? Because Twitch and to some extent YouTube has a far larger left-wing political streaming community that does these sort of things. And the left-wing audience is far bigger. So every one conservative streamer, there's probably 20 left-wing ones. And many of the producers are very polite. Like one of my favorite people is Danibo. 
I love Danabo. I think he, he's one of my favorite people I've met on here. And I can't wait to do streams with Danabo. We're going to do karaoke. We ain't going to talk about politics because I'm sure we disagree on almost everything politically. And I'm not even saying I dislike Dylan. In fact, there's very few people, streamers, that I could legitimately say that I really don't like. There are some, and people might know who they are. Many of them I just disagree, or I don't like their style of debating or moderating or something, but I don't dislike them. I don't wish them ill. And people that watch me can say, I've never wished these people ill. I didn't say, I hope your channel falls apart. I hope you're not platform. I never say that. I don't wish any harm. Even to the ones I dislike, I don't wish any harm. If, if they have an audience, like, look, like, it's not for me. Many of these ideas and the way that the shows are ran and the content, I don't like. But shit, it, that's life. You know, every generation's like, damn music this generation. It's not the same. So, you know, everyone complains about, to each their own. If the content's working and people like watching it. The same with this, you know, the meme we were doing with earlier. If a bunch of people, like, want to be like, oh, Rob fell for a meme. It's hilarious. Cool. I'm glad that some enjoyment's being brought to people for real. That's, I don't mind. But the whole question of should we platform and stuff like, it's just so childish. I mean, you can't help but get the distinct feeling when you're involved in this community. that it, it, It's like being at, in, in 12 years old at the playground. That's what it's like. It's nonsense. I'm all for your argument is shit. The way you argue is garbage. That's fine. Should we platform you? Is this person a Nazi? Are they a racist? Do they deny the existence and health care of trans people? Fuck you. It's so stupid. So right-wingers will go on their show, and then there's a nice little conversation amongst the audience there. Should that person have been allowed to come on? Are they a Nazi? And that's fine. I don't blame the host for that. You can't control what your audience does. I'm lucky. I have a fantastic audience. I don't have to worry. So far, I haven't. And I hope it continues to be this way. My audience threatening people or doxing people or shit like that. My audience, I think most of my audience likes when those people come on my show because it's entertaining content, right? I think the most excited most of the people watching me are is when I take random calls from lefty and then I blow them out of the water. That's probably the feedback I get. That's people's favorite thing. So why would they want to chase those people away? And I'm sure that like if you ask Dylan, Dylan probably likes when I come on. I'm not bringing people in like Destiny or Voshwood on his channel because my audience isn't that big. But so many left-wing people that follow him hate me. So when I go on, oh, there's that bastard Rob. Let's go watch him and say he's a Nazi and he's a piece of crap. I don't blame Dylan for that at all. I don't blame Prime for that. I don't blame anyone for that. Any of the people. You can't control what your audience does. But if you're going to start making topics like, should I platform this person? And yeah, I understand. My name, it wasn't should I platform Rob Nor, But it's only because I'm not as big as Lauren Southern. So, I don't think I want to do any panel that suggests, as a topic, should we engage in platforming this random right-winger? If you have to ask the question, I'll do you the favor. You won't have to ask the question then. I just won't do the show. Maybe I will, maybe I won't in the future. I don't know. But I'll guarantee any show that ever has a question, should we platform Rob Nor? I will not be on that show again. No need to worry. I just won't come on. No hard feelings. You go ahead. You have your left-wing echo chamber. No problem. Have at it. And then see how fun things get. I know aircraft. I, I get the same. Again, it's different because I haven't heard it be a question on a panel. But I, I see it. I see people's comments. Rob Nor's a racist. Rob Nor's a Nazi. Why are you platforming him? When I was on the Hippie Dippy Championship, right, with Demon Mama and Vosh and John Burke, same shit. 
People were saying, why would you platform a Nazi? Why would you platform someone? Just because we had a ci what I wanted to be a civil discussion on puberty blockers. By the way, if you're new to my channel, here's my thought on the trans issue. If you're a trans adult, you should be entitled to any treatment that you want. Anyone that treats you like crap because you're trans is ridiculous. I try to use the pronouns of what people ask because to me it's just a matter of common decency. That's it. I don't treat people that are trans like shit at all. I've talked to trans, some of my favorite people to talk to on my panel are trans people. Never once have I had a problem. Well, except imagined problems. Like one of the people I talked to then running and telling people that I said they didn't deserve to exist, which literally never happened. But they wanted to do it just to smear me on another channel. Or someone saying that I wanted to hook electrodes up to people's testicles. What the fuck are you talking about? But just because I have a question about whether or not we should be giving puberty blockers to children doesn't mean that I want trans people to not. It's just horseshit. Everyone can see that it's garbage. But that got me called a Nazi. And then there was a big question of whether or not I should be platformed. It doesn't matter if I'm affirming their delusions or not. I choose to do so because for me, it's a matter of common decency. If someone asks me politely to call them certain pronouns, then I'll do it. It doesn't mean I necessarily agree with the biological reality. Everyone can make their own decisions on it. That's just my choice. But, so that's my feeling. When I saw... When I saw that uh, that was one of the topics, it's like... Isn't it funny, too? It's, it's funny how all this drama, personal questions like that come in. But, you know, crisis at the border, economic crisis, crisis in Afghanistan, the COVID, even if you're someone who favors the vaccine passports, a lot of shit going on with COVID. We're going to discuss whether or not we should platform Lauren Southern. That's what we're going to discuss. So, <laughs> just stupid. And just another reason when people ask me, like, why don't you like these panels? It's just another cherry on top. The big reason is because eight people's too much. That's just stupid. So.